What's going on guys? Bow here back with some Chibi 3 Kingdom. So let's get into this. I am playing this on Android if you guys are wondering. And uh, yeah, let's check this game out. Not too sure what to actually expect. And it looks like we're going through the beginning of the story. You can actually skip it up at the top, which we're going to do. Don't feel like sitting through all that. Alright, so we do have quite a few enemies. I'm guessing you can have up to five characters since that's how many this other enemy has. And we are going to start off with four. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be starting off with four. Nope, never mind. There's the fifth one. Not too sure which characters we're going to be getting, though. Guessing we're going to probably get the one in the back, but uh, we'll see how this goes out. So kind of showing you how it actually works. They kind of go in whatever direction they're in, but once they kill the enemy, say if they're on the far left or far right, they'll go towards the middle if there's still enemies there. So that's basically how it does work. Um, doesn't look like we just destroyed them, so didn't really show you too much. Well, the purple one did go from one side towards the middle, but that's basically how it works. You can set up your formation before the fight. Uh, we do get to choose a character, so you either get male or female, and that's it and a character up to 14 characters we're just gonna go with that i find that to be easiest now instead of trying to write out a full name considering most of the times it's either taken but uh we get our heroes so we do get a free pool and we get another free pool which is gonna be a oh we got the character that was in the front actually so we did get a orange character and a purple character plus our main so I guess we're starting off with three I'm not too sure if everyone gets the same three characters or if we all get different characters actually we get the other purple so I guess that's considered our main I'm not too sure but uh, those are the three we have you can set up your formation however you want and each character is either gonna be good against the opponent or not and when you're setting down the characters on the opponent's side, it'll say easy, hard, or have nothing at all. So you can actually set it up a little bit different. But uh, there's the first level. It does look like after collecting 15 of the shards for this character, we do get it. So, or 15, 25, my bad. 25 of the shards for that, we will get a free character, which is pretty nice. I'm pretty sure you just get them through the stages. So maybe after maybe 25 maybe a little bit more maybe not every stage gives it to you but uh does look like we do get a free character so basically at this point we're just following the stage or the tutorial and trying to get through all the stages we do have uh different th things to set up we do have troops in this one which is a little bit different you have the actual hero and then you have the troops behind it so that is a little bit different from some of the other games. We do have an effect here, as you can see as well, which is summoning in oxes. And of course it does a certain amount of damage. We can summon that in twice by the amount of, uh, I don't know what that's supposed to be. It's like a bag or something. Yeah, I'm not too sure what it's supposed to be, but yeah, you can summon in twice. Although we're barely in the beginning, so we don't really have to do that as of right now, because it's really easy. But I'm pretty sure it's going to get a lot harder. Let's actually check these. We might have to switch this. How do I, uh, do I just click it? Like, okay, click it and hold, I guess. And we're just going to go with that formation since they're in the middle already. I don't think it really matters. And we didn't even do that much damage. Try that again. And I clicked on the character, but it did the row behind it. So you do have to be careful with that. I really wish there were lines. Or maybe like invisible lines or something so I can actually see like transparent lines or something where I can actually see what role I'm clicking on but uh, yeah that kind of sucked kind of wasted that one it doesn't really matter because we're doing pretty good and I can't seem to click uh, we do have to add that um, not too sure all right let's actually look at some other stuff real quick we're gonna be looking at the lines for the troop we have one out of the three lines I'm not too sure how many levels or whatnot you have to level those troops to get all three we do have skills as well 
each of them is going to be a different um, level to unlock so we'll see what happens there level 20 uh, the other one says opened after something it kind of cuts off currently level 3 with the, the soldiers and I can't I don't know what we'll add that to. Why can't I click on the thing behind it? There is nothing to hide all the characters. I don't know if you guys noticed, but there's a ton of uh, other people actually on the server as well. And there's no way to hide them. I don't see a way to actually... We're going to turn off the music and sound. You guys won't be able to hear it either way. But there's like no button to actually conceal other people. So I don't know how I'm supposed to actually click on this thing if I can't actually click on it. And this would make it a lot harder if I wasn't on the um, computer. Because if I was on a phone trying to click the little building behind everybody, that would definitely be a lot harder to actually do. But we actually got it done, so let's continue on and get through this. Hopefully, yeah, we're doing perfectly fine. We're not even taking any damage, so... We should be fine for at least a while. We're probably gonna, it's probably going to get a lot harder as we go on, of course, but we should be fine for at least a little while. We do have an auto button, but the auto button isn't unlocked until you actually level or not level up, get the three star on uh, the actual. Or actually, if, I think you don't have to have a three star. I think you just have to complete it. So there is that. You can actually send and receive stamina, which is really nice. And we do have sign-in rewards for the monthly sign-in. Depending on your VIP, you're going to be able to get more. And in this one, it is going to be in a different uh, currency. So I'm not too sure how much this stuff costs. A uh, thousand IDR, I'm not too sure what that actually is. Would have to go look that up, but... Uh, it's probably a couple bucks, same as the actual price of the gold, so we're not going to be doing any of that. And it does go up to VIP 20, so a ton of VIP levels to get through. We do have events going on as well. Um, it does tell you when they end and when they actually start, and then you have all of the events that are listed as well. So there is a ton of stuff you can actually do. 50 of the gold for some silver not too sure if that's actually worth it or not we do have a sign in for probably a seven day sign in or something like that but there are stuff you can actually get done you can actually review the game for a hundred free gold topping up does get you a gold character i'm guessing that's the highest ranking unless there's like a red character or something above that but haven't seen any so far they do have a shop and of course there's a VIP shop which goes all the way to VIP 20 as well so yeah pretty expensive uh, the other two are gonna be locked uh, one of them is VIP 9 I didn't see what the other one said and then we just have a regular store which does refresh daily so I guess that's pretty nice but um, here is the next card we're gonna be getting our next hero we actually get a green character so the common one grants green and blue, the one above that's blue, purple, and orange, and then the one, the very last one I guess is just the times 10 of the one previous, so probably going to want to save up for the times 10 and try your best on uh, getting something good. I'm not too sure what this is about, so we have a furnace, um, it says type, unit, and rank, uh, I don't know what that's about it does have a two hour and 40 minutes smelt time but uh, yeah I don't know what this actually does so do I just make it and we're good or not too sure what that is I'm gonna wait until there's probably a quest board or something like that they do have tasks as well they have the daily tasks achievements so on and so forth so I do recommend looking at those so that way you can uh, gain some extra EXP. As you can see there, we did gain extra stamina, extra gold, extra silver, extra... Basically a ton of extra stuff. And uh, you do have your achievements here, gaining you a ton of extra gold. Would definitely look at those, or just continue playing, you will unlock quite a few of them. That's probably how you're going to be able to 
gain the characters you want to get out of uh, the shop and stuff like that, or out of the summon. So we'll probably save up to the, I think it was 2k for, no, I think it was only a thousand or something like that for the times 10 summon. I will try to get enough to actually do that. There are red characters actually. There is actually a list of heroes you can go look at. I don't really like looking at them. Just for the fact that you can never pick the one you want, so no point in actually looking, but there are red characters you can get out there. And yeah, we're going to continue on with the quest. We do have a new character for our formation, so that one's easy. That's interesting. So you can actually see that uh, sometimes the one that's easy is the one in back. So got to kind of plan it out a little bit better. I don't know if they attack the ones in front first and then the one in back or... Oh, you got to reach level 8 to use our fourth hero. We're almost at level 8. I think we're at level 7, so we might actually be able to use our character pretty soon, but yeah, they do. So they attack, both characters attack the one in front first, then they move on the one in back, so that's good to know. Because I was going to set it up to where they would uh, hopefully go to the one in back as well, but it doesn't look like that happens. Alright, hopefully we went up another level. I don't know what level we are. We have to check. We are level 8, so perfect. We can actually use that. It is uh, usable now, so we're going to actually equip the gear. It does look like you have to equip all the gear or extra stats. I don't know if that's going to let you... Nah, I don't think that's for promoting your character. Because there are stars on your character if you did not notice. But I'm guessing that's going to be with... Um, something else. I think the gear is just gear considering we've seen uh, the orange gear which did look pretty amazing although that stuff does look like it is going to take forever to make. But yeah we're just going to continue playing through the game see how far we can actually get. It does look like we're going to add our new character in so we're just going to put him right there. Um, we're going to have to level him up though which kind of sucks. But uh, yeah, we start off with two purple characters, an orange and a green, so that's pretty good. And hopefully we can get pretty far. I'll probably play it for another hour or something like that. So interesting game. Kind of sucks that you can't have the auto button until after you beat it, so there is that. But uh, after you beat it, you can just sit there and press auto and you can get it done quite fast. But yeah, if you guys have any other games, please let me know in the comments down below and I will try to get to them as soon as possible. Well, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed and we'll talk to you guys later.